The next morning, I was back in wine country, just out of Rennick, to a place called Whitehaven. The setting was incredible, and the owner, Sue, was such good company. She had a really special story to tell me. So, Sue, thank you so much for having me on your beautiful vineyard. Um, we're actually standing above the vats where the wine production actually happens, which is, which is really cool. It's such a first for me. I've never actually come off the vine and seen the vats where they're being produced. And I just, I just really want to know more about Whitehaven and kind of what you guys do here. In 2002, we got this lovely site. It is beautiful with all the hills yeah, behind. It's amazing. And, and we've just gradually grown. And we've got our own acres around here that we grow our Sauvignon Blanc and our Pinot Gris on. But we've always kept contract growers. And we have them from the Awateri Valley right up to the Waihopai Valley. And that's perfect because we bring in all the different flavours, different styles from all the regions. And um, our winemakers blend it together to make, make the different blends. So what do you think sets your vineyard apart from others? Well, the nice thing for us is that we actually make all our own wine on site. We just don't lose sight of it. The only time it leaves here is to go and be bottled and it's saved there, but it's really important, I feel, to have our own winery and our own staff looking after it. So, Sue, you're obviously surrounded by a really great team of people. They're fantastic. In fact, um, no one ever leaves. We are a family. Sue has amazing staff behind her, and they've created a special reserve in her late husband Greg's name. We passed away in the February, it was a fantastic vintage, and Simon said, there's a pocket of really good grapes. He said, I'd like to do a, a wine for Greg. So we have a signature that we took off, something you'd sign, probably a check. We've put that on, <laughs> <laughs> we've put that on. And um, yeah, it's in his memory. And we only do that in good years, and we did a Pinot Noir in 2007. We didn't make a Sauvignon in 2008, but we've just made another one. Winemaking is not just about, you know, making a great bottle of wine or, you know, owning a vineyard, it's actually you're committing to a lifestyle. It's a great company to own, it is. Soon to be making wine and socks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good fight. <laughs> Sue and I had so much in common, including a love of great wines. Sam, the winemaker here, took me through some of White Haven's finest and described why Marlboro is such a prolific Sauvignon Blanc producer. So, Sam, Marlboro is actually renowned for the Sauvignon Blanc Great. Yep, yep. It's probably um, 70, 80 percent of what's planted here in Marlborough. Um, it's first planted. Marlborough was first planted in the early 70s, and uh, amongst those plantings was Sauvignon Blanc. And it's, it seems to be the variety that's, that's really stood out and made the, the area so famous. 